In this video, we'll take a look at Ableton Live, specifically Ableton Live 10. Now, Live is a powerful and versatile DAW, and this will just be a short overview video of what it does, how it's different compared to other digital audio workstations like Logic, FL Studio, and Pro Tools, and why we think it's the best DAW for both new and advanced DJ producers. Let's get to it. So Ableton Live is a digital audio workstation, and if you're not familiar with that, it's basically an app where you can create, record, manipulate, and mix different sounds together. Stuff like drums, vocals, synths, guitars, bass lines, pianos, you name it, and then output all of them into a single stereo audio file. And that file can then be played on any playback device like a CDJ, your DJ software, or your smartphone. Now, Ableton Live is known for being a DAW that has dual workflows or dual views known as Session View and Arrange View. Session View looks like a grid. The top has empty cells called clips that you can drag sounds onto, while the bottom has track controls like volume faders and knobs. You can launch any number of clips in a row to play simultaneously in a quantized manner, and they can keep on playing in a loop until you stop them. This makes Session View really good for performing on stage because it lets you play sounds on the fly while staying in time. So it lets you improvise with little risk as far as timing goes. It's also great for sketching out musical ideas quickly because you can just drag and drop sounds and everything plays in time. Now, apart from adding sounds like loops and samples onto clip slots, you can also add in MIDI clips. Now, MIDI clips contain MIDI data. Think of them as musical instructions, stuff like what notes to play and how hard to play those notes. And they trigger those notes in a synthesizer or drum plugin that you've added in a track in session view. What's a plugin? Well, think of a plugin as an extension to a DAW. It can be anything from an effect, like an EQ, or an instrument like a piano, a synth, a drum machine, or a sampler. This is another reason why Session View is great for both live performances and sketching out ideas, because that means that you can create your own melodies, your own chords, bass lines, and even your own drum patterns using MIDI clips together with soft synths or drum plugins. Now, Arrangement View is the second workflow, and this is the more traditional interface. Uh, it's got a timeline that goes from left to right, and you place your audio and MIDI clips into your tracks. This is more for arranging your tunes since you're now able to place them within a definite time frame. And this is also commonly used in studio situations where you're recording or tracking in studio engineer parlance instruments, musicians, and outboard MIDI gear. So this is the kind of workflow you'll find in other DAWs, including Pro Tools, Logic, Studio One, and Cubase. Now, Ableton Live comes with its own software instruments that let you create sounds, play melodies, and program drums. And these include the drum rack, which is an instrument that lets you add drum sounds and trigger them, Simpler, which is a sampler that lets you tweak, repitch, and manipulate a piece of audio, and Impulse, which is a drum sampler, but with extensive modulation options. It's got filters and a bunch of other controls. Now, apart from instruments, Ableton Live also comes with effect plugins. And for effects, Ableton Live has a ton. There are up to 46 audio effect plugins, ranging from essential ones, stuff like compressors, EQs, and reverbs, to more creative use plugins like vinyl distortion, pedal, amp, and frequency shifter. And these can be placed in either audio tracks, which hold actual audio clips, or in MIDI tracks, which contain MIDI clips. And speaking of MIDI clips, Live also comes with up to 16 MIDI effects, which can only be used in MIDI tracks. And these include the arpeggiator, chord, pitch, and velocity. So Ableton Live can also be used with just about any MIDI controller out there, thanks to its MIDI Learn functionality. But there are some controllers that work with it straight out the box. Ableton's own Push 2 is a grid pad controller that's got a high-resolution OLED display and rotary encoders at the top. And other controllers from other manufacturers include Novation's Launchpad, which is also a grid, and the Akai APC40 Mark II. DAWs today are more powerful than ever, but Ableton Live sets itself apart thanks to its dual workflows and its ability to dig in deep thanks to the Max for Live platform that comes with Live Suite. Sure, it's pricey, but it really includes everything you need to make electronic dance music, whether you're going for house or techno music, hip-hop, and even experimental or ambient stuff. 
With features and plugins this compelling straight out the box, Ableton Live is one of the best DAWs for DJ producers for music making and is one of the most intuitive apps for live dance music performances. It's a platform that's really worth investing time and effort into, not only because it just lets you do so much, but also because its constant development means that you're likely to use it for a very, very long time without it missing a beat as far as cutting edge features go. So that's it for our look at Ableton Live 10. I've got the full review over at the Digital DJ Tips site. The link is in the description box below. Hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now get good, get out there, and make the moments.